Hello YouTube, Mad Scientist 72 here, back with another video. This is a video of a fatty acid vesicle mixed with ribonucleic acid bases and hematoxylin stain. I did this experiment to see if I could get the RNA bases to enter the fatty acid vesicle. However, I have come to realize that there really isn't a way for me to determine either way if this has actually happened. With this video, you can see that the hematoxylin stain seems like it has aggregated inside the vesicles. And I used hematoxylin because it binds selectively to nucleic acids. And so based on this video, one might hypothesize that the RNA bases have indeed uh, collected inside the vesicles. But without a way to definitively determine whether or not this has actually happened, I have come to an impasse. Uh, my technology is just not uh, up to par with the kind of uh, the kind of technology that you would need in order to uh, conduct these kinds of experiments. Um, also, I was watching a video on YouTube recently about the origin of life, and in the video, scientists were discussing how minerals from rocks were probably necessary for the first life to arise from organic chemicals. Uh, my sample does not contain any rock dust, so it may be that I have tried this experiment in vain. Um, but when you introduce uh, something like rock dust, you uh, run the risk of having it become contaminated with bacteria and uh, other organisms uh, if you don't properly sterilize it. So uh, I think that uh, I've basically come to an impasse as far as my, my experiments go. And uh, so I want to see what uh, Jack Shostak is, um, is going to come up with in the future. And um, maybe I'll conduct more experiments in the future based on his findings. So that's it. And I hope you enjoyed watching. And thanks. Bye.